Zone replay, the Texas Ram versus Texas Tech. Um, a lot of interesting talking points from this play, so let's just go over. We're going to be focusing mainly on the offensive line, which, as we know, in zone read, they block in zone. And one of the things about zone that some people don't understand or, or you know fail to grasp completely is that even though it's zone blocking, there's also a man principle to this. And, and that's why oh, whenever you look at this play, all right, watch the center, Taylor Doyle. He has a man here uh, aligned outside of him on, on his outside eye, or, or at least ha having his butt up in the air to where he shows he's going to come across. But it seems like this guy's helmet is sort of outside Doyle's helmet in a one shade towards Cedric Flowers. So when you talk about line calls, you're going to be talking about a couple things. You're going to be talking about where the men on the defensive line are aligned and also where the linebackers are and whether they're thick or they're thin as pertaining to your position. Here on the back side, they probably would have gotten a thin call here. And what that means is that uh, Ken Perkins and Cameron Hughes would have kind of said, look, we're going to leave this guy free on the zone read. We're going to let Tyrone Swoops decide whether or not he's going to come down and take this dive from Deontay Foreman. Right, because if he comes down and takes the dive and goes after Deontay Foreman, well, Tyrone Swoops then can say, "I'm free to come around." Uh, so that guy will be left free. So basically, they need to get their combination block right on this guy. What they're going to do is they're going to get a thin call uh, because they're going to figure that this guy is going to be scraping this way, and so whoever gets leverage first here, they're they're going to need to get bail out of there the other guy and and see if there's any way to get to the second level to get leverage on the linebacker. Uh, as far as the line calls to the play side, they're more specific. In between the backside guard and the center is slip. In between the center and the play side guard is scoop. In between the play side guard and the play side tackle is tag. And if there were a tight end here, then the call between the uh, play side tackle and the play side tight end would be Ted. They would also have a thick call here because of the alignment of the linebackers. And so when I see these guys are thick, I'm running zone, and this guy's outside aligned on the on the outside eye of my center as a guard here on the play side and an uncovered man I gotta get a scoop call why because the linebackers are thick and they're going to be flowing towards you and this man is outside aligned this man his number one goal in life and your worst case scenario is him doing that him getting outside of Taylor Doyle here getting leverage on his play side shoulder and penetrating up Right now, these two players, Cedric Flowers and Taylor Doyle, should have scooped this thing. Cedric Flowers should be hip-to-hip -hip with Taylor Doyle and moving upfield toward his target once Doyle has gained leverage. You'll see he doesn't do it. He bails. Cedric Flowers bails. It doesn't even get that good a block to begin with.